Un Academy. Let's crack it. Greetings of the day. Welcome to Un Academy, sir. So we have Sardar Jagroop Singh, retired district and session judge of Punjab. Sir, we welcome you on our platform. Sir, we would like to know about your journey being a judge. So, uh, from where it started, so that our learners get to know and uh, you know get the motivation from you. So, please, sir, would you like to share how it started? What was your inspiration to become a judge? In fact, I belong to a village, a very remote village in Punjab. So, when I was studying in my village. there was no electricity no road no piped water no facility so it was not connected uh, to any city our uh, school primary school was 4 kilometers away from my village high school was 8 kilometers away we had to go on foot so from that day onwards actually from the very school days we had this habit of doing hard work and that actually paid it Thereafter, when I was probably doing my BA, there was a factional fight in our village. Both the parties were chalan. They used to go to the court to to appear in the case, and when in the evening they they came back, they used to tell what is the grandeur of a judge that he sits on a raised platform. nobody can sit there in the court room if anything is to be said one has to stand up with folded hands he has to stand only the lawyers can enter and only those persons can enter the court room who are called by the peer when the call is made for a case then the litigant leaves everything behind and runs to the court he has to speak the truth and then it was told that it is only the judge who can punish who can say you are right or you are wrong and there is only one other this uh, entity which can decide this thing and that is god so people in the villages used to treat a judge just like a god they used to respect him that way used to then speak the truth in the court so and and then it was told that uh, he can give any order to anybody punjabi ch kehte si ke judge ne ta muhi phir na banda andar ho jana just he is to he is to use his lips and his bani se behind bars so he can give orders to anybody nobody can give order to him nobody can interfere in his work so that gave a picture of such a personality in my mind that i started even graduation i started thinking that if i am to become something i will become a judge only. and when i did my ba so i straight away went to chandigarh joined the law college and there after this all started aapka naam aapka naam chalta <laughs> the life of the judge is very hard generally people see him sitting in the court room from 10 to 4 and say that there after there is no work in fact right from 8 am when he gets up he is always busy in his files he reads those files the statements of the witnesses in which arguments are to be heard to on that day then whole of the day court work again then dictation orders are to be dictated to the judgment writer and in the evening the judgment writer sends those orders on the judgments back at his house he is to go through those sections then it is to be sent back next day for retyping or correcting the judgments and also to go through those cases which are to be heard on that day again so that way it is very very difficult uh, uh, life but one has to be one has to do it with a dedication you have to absolve your subordinate sometimes it so happens if uh, if there is some need in the house or say in a lighter vein some gas cylinder is needed then you come to know in the evening when you when you reach the doors of the house oh gas mangoni siesta so you forget everything else 
and in that process in the court also there are such uh, uh, irritating incidents which you have to meet with kai lawyers is tarah de mil jande tuhanu jehde ke bahut irritate karde ne bahut khabbi khan hunde ne oh kehnde nahi itthe saada hi raaj chalna kai tuhanu litigants is tarah de mil jande jehde ke tusi char vari sawal hi ko puchoge unna jawab nahi dena chahi ko so kai vari staff tuhanu is tarah da mil jayega oh kehnde main theek tarike naal karda nahi kaam and you have to cope with everything there are uh, number of circumstances in which uh, lawyers were dealt with in which staff was dealt with litigants were dealt with so there are so many instances which can be told uh, at one station i had joined a day before next day there was a part heard case in which witnesses had been bound out it had been my rule ke if any witness has come that should be examined so i the, the case was called witnesses came the pp told me that witnesses had been bound on and they are to be cross examined by the opposite counsel opposite counsel came in a very submissive manner he told that he is the senior most lawyer at their station i said very good you are nice i asked the pp to bring the witnesses witnesses came sir i need adjournment but no adjournment cross examination would be there sir i am not prepared but doesn't matter then he told me sir my such and such judge is my first cousin okay that's fine so you must be knowing what are difficulties of a judge good i asked the pp bring the witnesses in the dock he said no nothing has happened then the next was sir the chief justice of punjab high court is my kudam my daughter is married to his nephew mukhtar very good then you are from our fraternity so start the cross examination sir i am not ready what does it matter you should have been ready i did not know adjournment would not be granted but no adjournment cannot be granted every, every day you have been granted adjournment sir it would be injustice to my client my you will be responsible for that you knew you were a counsel in the case you know it is fixed for today you know witnesses are bound on for today you know you are there to cross examine them why did you not prepare for cross examination and whatever was told to him i had been recorded i told him this thing he said and instead of saying i used to tell him so many things but i used to record he has again been requested to start the cross examination only one sir again we requested he said this thing is this thing this thing he has been requested so then i told him that if you say you are not willing i will record no cross examination opportunity given along with him there were two three lawyers from jalandhar who had come who were representing the other co accused then they told him bole mota phadya hoya mota phad ke unna chajj hoya ਕਹਦਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਨਾਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਹਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹਾਲੇ ਤੱਕ ਸਮਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਈ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪ ਤਾਂ ਮੰਨਦਾ ਕਹਦਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਪਰਵਾਣਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੁੱਛਣਾ ਪੁੱਛੋ ਨਾ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਹਟੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੁੱਛਣਾ ਸੋ ਦੈਨ ਹੀ ਰਿਅਲਾਈਜ਼ਡ ਕਿ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਔਨ ਰੋਂਗ ਪਾਥ ਦੈਨ ਹੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਕ੍ਰੋਸ ਦਾ ਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਦੈਨ ਹੀ ਅਟੈਂਡ ਵਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ something like that ke mere te atyachar kita ja reha mainu eh keh ke i recorded that at this stage he has said like this so it is necessary if there is something uttered by anybody which you don't like if you record it that he has said like this thing and he has been requested not to say so that that piece i had been doing that every year so ultimately the cross examination was completed and the case was then adjourned but no no adjournment for that purpose again experience you have shared with our learners who are who aspire to become judges they can use your experience in their career when they become judges so thank you so much sir for that thank you so any specific suggestion you would like to uh, give to our learners so that uh, who are uh, still uh, in a journey to become that is 
So any specific suggestion you would like to make us? What I feel is that it is conscientious hard work and honesty which ultimately pays. Because in our profession, even if wrong things happen to be done by or get done sometimes due to some reason, no action can be taken if it is honestly done. If the man is honest, then uh, n uh, nothing happens against him. Uh -huh. So hard work and honesty. So as we see, uh, the education system has changed lately because of the online platform available to the learners. So what is your say on this? So how this can benefit our learners? Online system is good. That is very good because uh, it saves time, it saves energy, it saves uh, going here and there and one can learn online, that is good. That is for betterment actually. In the modern times when we have changing times, it is useful to update. Right, right. So when you were preparing for judiciary, that time it was not available. It was not available. So uh, now our learners can benefit from this system. Exactly. So, right, sir. So any specific uh, landmark judgment which you have come across in your uh, judicial career which you would like to share with our learners, sir? Actually it so happened that uh, the sentence of imprisonment for life was in those days viewed as 20 years imprisonment. There was a case with me there was a lady who, uh, who had two sons. One was married, the other was not married. She was living with the son who was not married. The married son had a son about uh, 14, 15, 16 years old, uh, more than 18 years old. Studying in a school, must be having intention to see the world, to have lots of money, but was short of funds. He told his classmates that my grandmother has plenty of money, but she doesn't give it to neither to me nor to my father. If we lay hands on that money, then we can uh, enjoy a lot. The boy along with two classmates took a scooter, reached the house of uh, the grandmother, who he knew used to be alone at uh, daytime because uh, her son used to go on work. Opened, knocked the door, went in. The grandmother served them with the water. And after taking water, they caught hold of the grandmother, started killing her with the knives. She raised it all up. To their bad luck, the maid used to come in the evening. And they knew okay, she will not be there. But on that day, the maid had some function somewhere and had come in the morning to finish the work. She came. Now it became necessary for them to kill her also. So they pounced upon her also, injured both of them very grievously, seriously. And uh, the intention to get money over the Almiras or to see where the money was lying they could not think of that and they thought that now we should escape because there was a huge hue and cry by both the ladies. They went up. When they were going out, a girl was uh, going by that uh, street. She saw them hastily going and when she reached that door, she heard the cries from coming from inside the house. She entered there, found the two dead bodies, uh, injured, not dead at that time, the injured ladies, she raised a dollar, attracted many persons. Her other son also came. Ultimately, FIR was lost. So during investigation, it was found that this was the scooter and they had gone come on this scooter. The, all the three boys were caught. The uh, knives were recovered. 
the fingerprints on these uh, that uh, glasses were compared and uh, chalan was put in so there was no eye witness but uh, i felt that the case is fully proved so then was the question what sentence should be given if death sentence i was interested that there should be death sentence and they deserve it but then i thought ke 18 years old death that would be very difficult to implement so if there is no death then ultimately they will come a life imprisonment 20 years after 14 years they will come out i did not want that so it took me about 2 3 days to think about it ultimately i passed an order imprisonment for life till death so before that i had not seen any such a punishment till death and another order i passed that they shall not be granted any parole or remission next date was in the papers i received a telephone call from a judge from the high court he said aaj tak akhbar ch bada chhaya hoya main kaha haan ja sab sunya da main vi hega kehna hai punishment crpc ch provided nahi hai ki reh jayegi so it could be set aside only by the high court i said ke jaisa je tusi na chhedo phir reh jayegi je tusi na chhede phir reh jayegi after some time the telephone from an advocate general chief of civil from the advocate general he said ya sabhi khabar theek hai main kaha bilkul theek hai ke na sarkar di power je admission te parole di hai oh tusi kive le sakde ho wapas main kaha main sarkar di power nahi layi wapas main ta unna nu kaha ke is case ch apply nahi karni ho baaki thodi hai gi power di you can use it wherever you like but not in this case so then he said dekh de yaar aise rahegi ke nahi maka ha it will be it must sustain otherwise ta maka you know uh, parole de doge tu hi remission de doge fir ta utthe hi fer aa jayegi so that was a, a very difficult time when i had to think about it as to what sentence should be awarded to the man thank you so much sir for sharing your experience with our learners uh, they would certainly benefit from this uh, interview of yours thank you for sharing the kind word thank you so much sir. thank you so much thank you for that thank you